Welcome to Case Tutorial Series, where we show you the ins and outs of our powerful test management software. In this video, we'll guide you through your profile and account settings to help set up your personal user preferences for a smoother user experience. To begin, you can find your profile and account settings by clicking your user icon in the top right corner of your workspace. The billing option will only be seen by those granted permission to access it. The rest of the options would be available to all users. Here, you can easily toggle between the dark and normal modes. When you click Appearance, apart from the color themes, you can adjust the size of your workspace content to your preference between small, normal, or large. API Tokens area is where you can generate your personal tokens, serving as the authentication mechanism for API requests to CASE. They are a prerequisite in executing actions within a workspace through the API. In your profile settings, you can upload your user picture, customize how your name appears, indicate your position title, set your time zone, and manage newsletter notifications. If single sign-on is enabled, your name will be provided by the identity provider, allowing you to only change your user picture and notification settings. In the notifications area, you can enable email and in-app notifications to stay on top of the important events happening in case. The set of notifications is personal to you and won't affect other users' notifications. Under security settings, you can change your password and connect your account with your personal Google account, which will allow you to sign into CASE through Google Authentication. Remember, passwords should be at least 12 characters, have at least one uppercase and lowercase letter, at least one number, and one special character. The Help section is where you can search our knowledge base for documentation of CASE's different features, frequently asked questions, and register for upcoming webinars. In API Docs, can access the CASE REST API documentation with detailed explanations of all entities and endpoints available. CASE Roadmap is where you can stay informed about CASE's future plans, ongoing developments, and delivered features. You can submit your feature requests, integration ideas, and report bugs here. Status is where you can check that the CASE systems are up and running smoothly. In Changelog section, you will find the details about CASE product updates, new features, and bug fixes. If your email address is associated with more than one case workspace, you can switch between those workspaces from the Switch Workspace dropdown. Lastly, if you wish to sign into another account or to just log out for the day, you can sign out here. If you're new to CASE or want a better understanding of its features, our monthly product webinar has two time slots you can choose between. This is just the first step for you, but in the following videos, we will unpack all the various features and functionalities CASE offers. Keep watching to learn more. If you have more questions on this or any other feature, you can check out our help articles and our FAQ section. If you do not find an answer to your question, or if you have any feedback that you'd like to share with us, just drop us a message. And happy testing!